Today we are talking floor plans of the Leisure Travel Van Unity. Now why is this so important? Well, as you probably well know, there is not a dealer around that is going to have one, much less several, floor plans for you to walk into. Now then, I have a 2020 Unity FX. I was very fortunate, got mine pre-pandemic. I got mine when there were like four or five of these on the lot, and so I was able to walk in most of the floor plans and really get a feel for which one was going to be best for us. We chose the FX. Well, we had our heart set on a completely different floor model, but the second we actually walked in them, we knew that, that the FX was actually for us. So I want to give a little bit of my insight, a little bit of my experience walking in them and actually owning an FX to be able to tell the differences between the different floor plans so that you're able to hopefully make a better decision if Leisure Travel Van is on your short list or if you're planning on ordering one or if you're just interested overall. Now then, if I make a mistake, if I leave something out, if you own one of these floor plans and you see something that I that needs corrected, please put that in the comments down below. This video is totally intended to help people make an informed decision on which floor plan is best for them. Again, put those comments down below. Now then, if this is your first time on the channel, you're going to want to subscribe because we're always talking about leisure travel vans, about RV in general, gear, gadgets, and travel. And so be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and again, comment down below if you see something that I left out. Okay, let's jump over to the Leisure Travel Vans website and let's get started. Okay, here we are on the Leisure Travel Vans website. And so we are going to be talking about the Unity today. I'll do a video on the Wonder. I'm not that familiar with the Wonder. We own a Unity. So let is, let's just go explore. And so if you click that, come over here and click Four Plans. The very first one that we are going to see is the Murphy bed. As you can see, it just seats two, just sleeps two, and of course has 55 cubic feet of exterior storage. Now it says up to, because I do believe if you choose a generator that's probably gonna go around underneath this closet here, you are going to take up some of that exterior storage. So keep that in mind as well. But let's just jump right into the pros and the cons of the Murphy bed. I do believe the Murphy bed is one of the most popular floor plans out there, and I think it's due to this large, huge bathroom. So uh, if you've never stepped into a Unity before, the bathrooms and the other floor models are pretty small. Now, mine probably is the smallest in the FX, and so I do appreciate this large bathroom. And so if you look at the shower, the shower is definitely larger than the shower in the FX. As you can see, it has a skylight. So you are able, taller people, I'm 6'2", and my head actually, you know, in, in my FX actually goes up into the skylight as well. But as you can see, it is a massive shower. This sink is a large, normal size sink with some decent uh, counter space. So as you're gonna see in the other floor plans, all of this goes away. And so if you like a big bathroom, then the Murphy bed is going to be for you. Okay, it also has this storage and this large closet. So the door slides right here. It's gonna give you a little bit more area to get ready in and just have a little more room in the bathroom. So now then, where does that con come into this? Well, as with the bigger bathroom, you have a smaller living space. And so you gotta take that into account. How much time are you actually going to be spending in the bathroom, right? Now, these showers, it is this is larger than the others, but still, it's not giant. And so you're not going to necessarily want to take 20 minute showers. And plus, with what if water, if you're boondocking and water's an issue, you definitely are going to be in there for about two seconds. So keep that in mind on when you're thinking about is this big bathroom worth it? So then let's jump over and we're really going to talk about the living area. So these two seats right here, they call these the leisure lounges. And of course, the Murphy bed is behind. So the leisure lounges, I have heard basically you either love them or you hate them. I personally have been in this floor plan. I have sat in them. They are really comfortable. And so I, I personally like them. Now the negative to that, you're not going to have a couch that you can just plop down on. You can choose to get that couch, the same couch that's in the FX. I love my couch. Uh, when we get to that, I'll show you 
all the different ways that you can configure it, but it is really comfortable as well. And so if you like these leisure lounges, I would definitely say they are comfortable. And so that is a pro or a con, either one you want to look at. So another big, big pro is this massive television. I say massive, it's 39 inches. But whenever you're talking about a leisure travel van, that is massive because the other floor plans, they are much smaller. So if you like television watching, then probably this Murphy bed is going to be up your alley. All right, so the other big pros, it is ha this probably is the largest closet in any of the floor plans. So if you carry a lot of stuff, you may want to think about that. But it also has the least amount of overhead storage, which you will see in the other floor plans are, uh, have, a, uh, have a quite a bit. Now then, another pro, it has a slide, so it's going to be a much larger interior. So with that slide, when that slide open, I mean, you're going to walk in and you're going to feel, you're not going to feel claustrophobic at all like you could with a non-slide version. So with you, when you walk in here, you do have plenty of room. Now then, the good thing about the Murphy bed is you can bring the bed down, whether it is, uh, the slide is out or whether it is in, which is not the case for the FX. And I'll share that with you in a moment. But the bed in the Murphy bed and the FX, they are the same. And so it is a fantastic bed. I absolutely love it. I'm six foot two, like I said. And so that's one of the big reasons we chose the FX because the bed is the largest, uh, that in the Murphy bed, it's the largest of the floor plans, fits us perfectly. So you can't complain about that. So that is the pros of the Murphy bed. So let's talk about the cons a little bit. Like I said, the large bathroom is going to take away from your living space. And then as you can see with every leisure travel van, there is limited space with your kitchen. Now they, you know, this is your propane stove. It, it does have a cover that you can use as counter space. They do come with a Corian uh, sink cover that uh, gives you a little bit extra of um, some counter space. Now then, I'm going to give a little shameless plug here. Um, we actually offer a, uh, a better solution than this. Uh, we have a cutting board slash sink cover that is perfectly sized for the 2018 and above leisure travel vans. Um, we have a bamboo version and then also, also an Arctic white plastic cutting board version that is flush. Anyway, that's just a shameless plug. If you want to look at that, pagosasupply.co. Anyway, so let's jump into uh, a little bit more of the fact that this window is not visible unless this bed is down. And so, but it does have a window right here for driver's side. So that is a positive on that. Now then, uh, one thing about the Murphy bed that you're going to have to keep in mind along with the FX and the RL is you do have to make this bed. So you do have to configure your living space into a bedroom and bring it down. So keep that in mind. If you have, you know, mobility issues or something like that, where you think that folding all of this stuff up, moving cushions around, and then bringing this bed down could be an issue, then probably the Murphy bed, the FX, or the RL is not going to be the floor plan for you. So do keep that in mind. It's not a terrible hassle. I mean, it is a hassle, but it's not a massive hassle. But what you get in trade out, you get this big bed and um, we absolutely love it. Super comfortable. Okay, so that's it for the Murphy bed. Just to recap, the Murphy bed is going to be best for uh, taller people because that bed is going to be larger than most of the other floor plans. Also, that shower is massive. And so if you are a taller person, a bigger person, then you may want to keep that in mind. Um, and then, of course, if you're a TV watcher, that's going to be the best floor plan for you. So that basically wraps up the Murphy bed. <laughs> All right, now then, the one that I'm an expert at because I own one of these and I have the most experience in, obviously. Like I said, I have walked in most of these floor plans, so I do have a first-person experience with them. But the FX, this was the floor plan for us. So I'm just going to jump right into the pros real quick of what we love about the FX. When you walk in right here, I mean, with all of this open space, it is I mean, as far as a 25 foot coach, it is massive. And so that's what I really loved about it. It wasn't claustrophobic at all. With the other floor plans, you know, like like the Murphy bed, it, it you know, stops right here. And the other ones, they're, you know, they, they stop about right here. And so you just kind of walk into this 
the little area right here. I didn't like that. I loved walking into this massive, massive area. And when the slide is open, it is, it is really, really roomy enough for two people to walk back and forth from each other and everything. So as far as openness, the FX is going to be your best bet. Now then another thing that I loved about it is it does have the two different areas right here. So if somebody is, and let me just jump in right quick. This isn't always, this is showing as the dining room, but as you can see, the lounge system is this little thing right here that I absolutely love. So it's a couch, it's a shade system, it's a dining room, it's a bed. It is everything you could ever want in a lounging area. And so as you can see, that is perfect and you can get a glimpse back here here's a whole nother living area and it is fantastic so say you're up here working right and your partner your traveling partner your spouse whoever it may be is back here there is a tv right here there's a tv right here so you can watch television separately somebody can be working somebody can be lounging watching television so you can be watching the game back here and, and your wife can be watching whatever it is the bachelor or whatever it is that she wants to watch up here right or vice versa. Maybe she watches television. You watch The Bachelor. Anyway, so as you can see, it is a fantastic living arrangement. So it's fantastic. Then a couple of other things. You do have a lot of workspace. There is a little hidden stool right here. So this little guy right here, watch this. It comes out. It's a table. It's a footstool. I just love these little touches that Leisure Travel Van does. It's fantastic. Uh, really sold me on Leisure Travel Van in the first place, all the little ingenuity that they do. Now then, we do have some decent closet space. There's a closet here and a closet underneath the television here. Uh, it's not massive, but it works. And if you're getting a leisure travel van, you're probably not carrying too much stuff anyway. Now then, another pro we love is this almost king size bed. I think they call it a true queen. I think it's a little bigger than a queen. So as you can see, um, it is fantastic. I mean, now then, right here, you can see this. So unlike the Murphy bed, this is a con. In the FX, the slide has to be out in order for the bed to come down keep that in mind. So that is a con of the FX. So then, now then, let's, uh, that's what we really love about it. Counter space is about the same in all of them. Uh, it's not a lot. I can just tell you that it is not a lot. Always keep that in mind and no matter how much uh, in which floor plan you look at. Also, this, this, the, the pantries are, are really small as well. You're not going to be carrying a ton of stuff, but look at all this overhead storage we have tons of it much more than the murphy bed so let's talk about the cons of the fx real quick one is this right here the exterior storage is smaller than the mb and basically smaller than everything but the rl so that is a you know that is a con definitely and so that is something to keep in mind also the bathroom is tiny i mean tiny 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 especially when you've been in that murphy bed but what we decided was we don't spend that much time in the bathroom. And so we were wanted, we were willing to give up this space to have all of this extra space right here. Okay, this sink, it's ridiculously small. And this door, I, I don't like the door at all. The good news is they are changing it in model year 22. Um, I mean, it works. As you can see, whenever you're not using the bathroom, it goes in. When you're using it, it goes out to give you more room in the bathroom. But it's really fragile. I just know it's going to break someday. But they are changing it for year model year 22. So that should be out what that's going to be soon. So I'm excited about that. But this sink, my gosh, it's tiny. I mean, it's so tiny that I'll usually brush my teeth out here in the kitchen. Um, and the shower, it's doable. 6'2", 185 pounds. I can turn around in there. My head sticks through the skylight. It's plenty of room. Again, you're not going to be taking 20 minute showers in here at all. So that's probably the biggest con is the size of this bathroom. It is, I mean, tiny. All right. Another big con of the FX. Well, the Murphy bed is the same way with this window right here. It is, if your bed is up, you have no window. Now the Murphy bed has a window here. The FX does not. So when the bed is up, you have zero windows in the house. As far as ventilation, that's not a great thing. So you really have to use your fantastic fan, which is about right here, and open one of these windows or your, your door and leave the screen open. So that is a big, that's a big negative. Um, 
Then, of course, also you do have to transform the bed down um, in order to, to use it, and the slide has to be out, so that can be a con. All right, now then, also the MB and the FX, they have 11, and the RL, MB, FX, and RL have 11 less gallons of freshwater capacity than the corner bed, island bed, or the twin bed. Keep that in mind if you're a boondocker. All right, so who is going to be the best um, suited for an FX? I would say couples who need a little bit of space because you have two living areas. All right. And then also for somebody who might be claustrophobic because this is the least claustrophobic uh, of all of the floor plans. So you do have a lot of open space there. So that is the FX. Again, it's one we chose. I'm highly biased. All right. So let's talk about the corner bed. Now then the corner bed is going to be a, a fantastic solution. If you like an always made bed, cause this bed is always down. And so the bed, uh, the only thing you do have to keep in mind, it is a bit smaller, but it is always made, always ready. Unlike those other, the FX, the MB and the RL, where you have to you basically configure your RV like a puzzle, right? And so you do have this always down bed. Now then, another big positive, if you have a small family, seat belts up to four and sleeps up to four. And so that is, the, you can see the seat belts here. And so also it's pretty wide open, just like the FX. But just like the FX, let's get into the negatives right away because it has that tiny, tiny bathroom, basically the same bathroom the FX does. It just has a better door system. Okay, so you're not gonna have to worry about that door I told you about, but they're improving it, the FX door in the 22 year model. Now then, let's just jump into the negatives real quick because I think you can see the positives being you can travel with four people, the bed's always made, and different things like that. So the negatives are going to be, besides the small bathroom, is the small bed. So if you're a taller person, you can see you're not going to have much room there at all. Really take the dimensions that's on the website and see if that's going to fit for you because uh, it gets smaller right here. And so that's that's something you got to look at. Also, there's no true lounge space other than the bed. And so... This is the dinette. It does come in a U lounge as well, which is basically just, you know, same thing, but a little bit of seating back here. You do have these chairs here, but your TV is here. So you got to be thinking about that. Everything else, it's going to basically have the same closet as the FX here and here. Uh, so really the cons are no lounge area other than the bed, the small bathroom. Um, and then it basically has some decent exterior uh, storage. So who is this going to be best for? Well, I think with this small bed, it's going to be either a single person, right? Who can just use this as a lounge area and, you know, cause it's a smaller bed, or it's going to be somebody with small families because you can put the kids here. They, this actually makes into a bed. You can sleep there. Mom and dad sleep here. And so I think that's probably who this is best for. So the corner bed is, uh, I mean, it is what it is. All right, let's talk about the rear lounge because I think this is slowly turning into Leisure Travel Van's most coveted floor plan and for several reasons. I was uh, fortunate to walk into one of these and it is gorgeous. So let's just jump down right now with all of the pros of the Leisure Travel Van RL standing for rear lounge. First of all, it's super modern inside. Even the lighting system up on the up on the ceiling is super cool. I mean, it just it sets its apart, itself apart immediately with the most modern design. Also, this window right here is massive. And so you have this huge window that is on the side there, so plenty of light. Um, you also have a window right here, tons of cross breeze as well. It's going to be fantastic for that. Now then, several seating seating opportunities here. As you can see, uh, you can use this as a lounge. They've got the table set up here. Uh, it is all kinds of different things. Like the FX, it has multiple uses, and then the bed is behind that. And so you also have these seats here and a table here. So you do have multiple seating. You have lounging. You have all kinds of tables. You've got separation. Again, if somebody wants to work up here and watch TV back here, it is a 
perfect solution for that. Now then, the bathroom is a much better solution than the FX or that corner bed, but it's still not as good as the Murphy bed. Uh, as you can see, these doors actually swing out and it makes this basically this entire area the bathroom. So you do have more room to walk around, turn around in. The shower is still small, just like the FX and the corner bed. So you do have to keep that in mind as well. But you do have more room to get dressed and different things like that. Plus, you can use these doors to really separate off if somebody is back here sleeping, somebody gets some, wants to get back here working, that way you won't disturb them. So the RL is really fantastic for people who um, basically do things different at different times because you're going to have some of that privacy and be able to, to um, you know, separate yourself. Then you also have probably the most kitchen counter space, as you can see here. And then um, they have a little fold out right here. So you have a massive more amount of kitchen counter space. Huge win compared to the other floor plans. Now then, I guess we've got to talk about the negatives. Okay. So the negatives, it's going to have the least amount of closet space. As you can see right here, it does not have that extra closet that I have in my FX right there. So least amount of closet space. And then of course, right here, the least amount of cubic feet of storage, 30. So that is less than all of the others. So you have to keep that in mind. Now then, also, the walk-in, when you walk in, it's very small. No slide, so you're not going to have all this extra room. It's very small when you walk in. That's the one thing that really... Uh, probably knocked me off of the uh, RL is I, I, I've just felt claustrophobic when I came into it. Also, this bed, when it's down, it's small. I mean, it's much smaller than the FX and the MB. And so if you're a smaller person, that's going to be fine for you. But if you're a larger person, you really need to get those measurements and see if that's going to work for you. So that is a negative to us. That's what, that, Those are the two reasons. I didn't like it when you walked into a very small space. And also that bed was kind of small. So then, again, seats four and sleeps up to four. So great for small families. So that's a fantastic thing. So again, I think this floor plan is going to be great for that, for small families, or for people who just need some separation, two separate areas to either work uh, in or uh, want to watch television differently because they do have two televisions here and here. So that is the rear lounge. Okay, and so we are going to basically take the twin bed and the island bed and combine them because they're the same floor plan, just a little bit different in the back. Now then, here's the truth. Whenever I was first looking at a leisure travel van, before I stepped foot in one, the twin bed was what we were going to go with. I like the exterior storage that it had with it. As you can see, it is a, a lot, 63 cubic feet. Um, the twin, the island bed actually has a tad bit more than the twin bed. It has a, a true pass-through in the, in the island bed. But also, these twin beds, they actually will make into a full king-size bed bed, a real king size bed. You fold that down and they've got cushions there. And I really like that. The problem was from here to here isn't that isn't as great for somebody over six foot two. Okay. And I'm six foot two. So it wasn't great. Also, when you walk in here, I didn't like how closed off it was. Again, no slide. And so I just personally didn't like that. But just like with the rear lounge, you have the benefit of this larger bathroom by moving these doors around. Uh, but it's basically the same the same shower size, everything. You do get a little more closet than you do with that corner bed. Uh, and then with the island bed, you get a little less closet space, I would say. But there is that beautiful pass-through storage. So if you're somebody that needs that, this is a great floor plan for you. Again, uh, same thing with the um, RL. I do believe that this has a um, uh, this counter will come out, so it gives you the best kitchen space. All right. So then, uh, the very large bathroom is probably the biggest thing to this, and the always made bed. Those are the positives and the kitchen. So who are these going to be good for? Well, like I said, somebody who needs an always made bed. You're not going to have to put a puzzle together just to change your living room into your 
bedroom. And so also great exterior storage. So keep that in mind. I think the biggest cons for this is just when you walk in, you just walk, I mean, it, it's very small. I mean, it's smaller than what it looks like here. Um, so you could just come in and this is what you're looking at. So keep that in mind. That's why we went with the FX. Had that big open airy feeling. Really, really love our FX. Well, that wraps that up. I hope this was somewhat informative and it helps you make a little more of an informed decision. Maybe got the thought process thinking a little bit different. And so if you like this video, please hit that like button. And again, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you next time.